Hello my strong strong friends and welcome to the video. Today I'll be talking about the daily lives of personal training, powerlifting coaching, my own training and my clients. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you see, uh, breakfast is underway. Just some nothing uh, too major, just two eggs, a bagel. Thank you, Alexa. So back to it. Uh, we've got two bagels. We've got one bagel, two eggs, 100 grams of turkey mince, uh, turkey meat. Sometimes I go for chicken or chicken sausages. And I've got about a 60 odd grams of cherry tomatoes that I chop up. I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen, fix the mess up, and serve it up. That tends to be my breakfast every single day. Pretty much consistent. I've been having that for the past half a year. I'll vary up the chicken, uh, meat, so it'll be turkey, chicken, or ham, that kind of thing. Most of the time, it's just consistent about 500 to 600 calories, alongside with a cup of coffee with milk and sugar. Yes, and that is track four. And we are out of here. All right, so we're currently on our way to work. Uh, I've got some training clients. I'm gonna do a session with one of my clients. Um, and then we've got some training, my own training, so I'll be doing high bar squats with some bench press this Friday. It's a pretty chill day, spent doing a lot of uh, lion chickens and all that sort of stuff, so... Alright, so, we're walking and things exactly haven't gone to plan as we wanted. Had some people reschedule my training sessions this afternoon, so my day has just freed up, so I've just traveled halfway to London. I uh, traveled back with some train delays and now I'm going to go for a 35 or so minute walk to the gym down here. Alright, so uh, with the warm-ups, I actually didn't spend too long uh, of a time doing that since it's really warm outside, um, I really got warmed up. So I just ran through a few major exercises, a few major stretches that open up my hips, my ankles and things that just generally feel tight. I've been having some knee issues, so I've been warming up my knee um, area specifically with some stuff that I've been doing and just general barbells, empty barbell squats and gradually progressed to the weight that I needed for the day which was 122 kilos. So funnily enough, uh, the audio quality actually sucked. I was trying out to use these wireless headphones to record and talk before the squats, but actually it failed hilariously. So instead I'll be doing a voiceover on some of the exercises, just running through the basics. So especially with the bench press that I did, uh, it was very crowded in that corner. So I thought instead of me just talking into the camera, I'd do a voiceover and actually talk through some bench press tips that are useful uh, and while squatting, things like that. So as you can see here, me trying to talk to it hilariously failed. Uh, so I'm currently high bar squatting and I actually thought I'd tell you why I am. So I'm squatting twice a week uh, with a variation day. So my normal day I've got low bar squats with the uh, bar being lower on my shoulders and high bar being high bar with the bar being on top of my traps. So the dynamic of the movement itself, the squat, it changes and the muscles working uh, 
quads actually get a lot more work with the high bar while the low bar is a lot more glutes and hamstrings dominant. So I need some variation and also a bit uh, strengthening my quads is one of my goals for the time being during this off-season cycle. So, we are three sets in. First two sets, the quality has been terrible on the sound. Hopefully this fixes it better. It's third set of five at 122 kilos. Alright, so moving on to bench press, uh, today called for a single at RP8, so worked up to 110 kilos, which moved really well, I was super happy about that, um, I mean 110 was my opener last competition, and I've been dieting, I'm 4 kilos lighter than I was uh, pre-competition, so I'm super happy about that. Um, actually on the way up, I managed to get a cramp in my hip, so that I had to just pop that back in. Afterwards, moving on, I had bench press variation, and today's variation called for feet elevated. So I use the box to just keep my feet straight, nice and comfortable, and close grip variation. So a longer range of motion, much smaller arch, uh, a lot more emphasis on the pecs, the triceps, and the delts. And three sets of seven after that, I was pretty much fried. So a good topic to actually discuss is why would someone use a feet elevated bench press and the carryover to that that I found personally is without using my leg drive here, uh, taking sport specific specificity out of the equation, I found that my triceps take a lot of the work and they get stronger over time. I tend to respond to higher frequency bench press and doing competition bench press all the time. It's just, well, apart from it having higher risk of injury, uh, it just gets boring so sometimes some variations like that are really good to have um, and this one in particular is one of my favorites So to finish off my day, I actually finished off with uh, five sets of five pull-ups, 10 kilos weighted. Uh, nothing too exciting, just getting some pull-ups done. All right, so we're back home after a long day of training. Alexa, off. Response to radio. Alexa. Off. She responds to really random stuff, sometimes comes on a lot. Alright, so we're back from the gym. Um, didn't get a lot of talking done, as you notice, I did a voiceover of the training. So, to finish off the day in the life of training, I thought I'd run through uh, what I eat and uh, what I'm going to eat for the rest of the day. So, for lunch after training, I've got 200 gram, 250 grams of turkey minced meat, which I will have with a hundred half a packet of Tilda Brown rice. I'm going to season the turkey with good old Santa Maria taco mix. I've got a whole batch of that and it's amazing seasoning. It just takes a pinch and the food's amazing. Uh, for dinner we will be having two burgers, Tesco's finest, and two large brown baps because it's Friday. I really want burgers. They're 200 calories each so I'm going to have two of those uh, and two baps with some sauce. Last, oh and of course some salad. Uh, and lastly, I've got some calories left over for a little dessert, so some low-fat cottage cheese with some nuts. A mixed bag of nuts with some berries and things like that inside of it, which will put me about 1900 calories. I'll pop it over right here on the screen, just over 1900 calories. Um, I've, hit, I've actually surpassed my protein goal, which is good. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the day of meat, I guess.